Good morning, my name is Andy Coyle. I'm going to show you this 1982 BMW 320i. It's a really cool car, very popular. These are getting very hard to find. This particular car is equipped with a 5-speed, the body kit, and these factory wheels. Factory alloy wheels. So I believe this is an S320 IS, but I don't have a way of verifying that. This car runs and drives. What makes this car appealing is it's largely it's rust free. Uh, from all indications, there's photos posted online. It engine runs well, but it definitely has some issues. That's why it's priced accordingly. Uh, boo boo there. The major thing, here, here's a five speed. The ignition switch works, but you have to use that little button. Somebody did a work around. The headlights don't work, but the car runs and drives really nice. And it's really quite solid car. Uh, so it's a fuel injection. I believe it's 1.8 liter. The paint, the clear coat is worn off. The body's really straight. Uh, and the engine runs well. There's no smoke. It doesn't leak. The cooling system works well. It doesn't leak. The gentleman who brought it here drove it from L.A. about a two-hour drive on the freeway. So that tells you a lot about the car. From what I see and the photos I post online, it looks original, looks like it's never been hit. The headliner's good. I haven't tried opening the top because I'm afraid if I open it I might not close it. Not be able to close it. It's nice underneath. I have a lot of photos online, but it's solid underneath. So, since recent work on the car includes rebuilding the, uh, the rear axles, the CV joints, and the carrier, uh, what I call a U-joint, on the drive shaft, it probably could use, at minimum, new tires. And it's, it's amazing. It starts every time. It doesn't leak. Uh, you know, for a 40-year-old car, that's kind of the reality test is, does it leak? Does it smoke? Does it start every time? And if the answers are yes, it's a good and no rust, a good starting point on a car. So the starting procedure on this car is... First, I got to get in. Just stick the key in. Lights on. And it starts right up. So we'll go for a quick drive. Clutch is good. Pedal's a little high, but it definitely does not slip. And the clutch does not clatter. So So there's tons of traffic here, so we're going to try to get in between. It shifts well when it's when it's cold. It it's a little balky going, especially going into second gear. But it's it shifts well. Second gear in all these uh, BMWs are usually the first ones to show some signs of 
square. Car runs out really well. It's hard to uh, hard to drive it and shift all at one time. But the more I drive this car, the more I like it. Now the, there's some run out in the discs under braking. There's a little. There's a little feedback through the wheel, so... It runs out good. Gauges work. Fifth gear. So we're in fifth gear now. I would say it probably needs new tires and new rotors. But it actually stops really quite nice, pretty damn straight. Car runs smooth as heck though. I love these cars. These are great cars. My first nice car when I graduated from college was one of these. It wasn't the S, it had just a four speed, but it was maroon with tan guts, and I thought I was. I thought I was all that in a bag of chips. And for a 23 year old, not too bad. So let me show you this motor running. So parking brake works. The light on the gauge for the gas goes on. I don't know what that's about. Nice, quiet running motor and good drivetrain, rust free car. No beauty queen, but really lots of potential. So let's review 1982 BMW 320i S, I think, five speed, factory alloy wheels. <clears throat> this has a current California smog certificate and a clean California title and a clean Cal uh, Carfax. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks very much.